In chapter 11 of Zora Neale Hurston's Their Eyes Were Watching God, Janie thinks about all the different reasons that she shouldn't pursue a relationship with tea cake. He's 12 years younger, he's poor, and he's probably a philanderer. She decides to treat him coldly. But tea cake returns to the store a week later. He plays air guitar, which amuses <laughs> Janie. And then he buys two bottles of Coca-Cola, one for Janie and one for himself. Then they play checkers until everyone leaves the store. Sitting on the porch, Tea Cake and Janie talk until almost 11 o'clock. Janie invites him to her house for a slice of pound cake. Tea Cake picks lemons from the tree in the yard and makes lemonade. The two go fishing on the lake, where they end up until dawn. The next day, Hezekiah warns Janie that she shouldn't spend time with Tea Cake. He objects to Tea Cake's poverty. The next night, Tea Cake comes back. They eat fried trout and cornbread, and Tea Cake plays the piano and sings, lulling Janie to sleep. When she wakes up, he's combing her hair. Janie heads up to bed. It's obvious they like one another, but Janie doesn't trust Tea Cake completely, and he's afraid she thinks he's not good enough for her. But Janie can't stop thinking about him. She realizes she's falling in love with him. Two mornings later, Tea Cake brings Janie fresh strawberries. She offers to make him breakfast, but he says he's gotta go to work. He later spends the night with Janie. Afterwards, without explanation, Tea Cake vanishes for several days. When he comes back, he's driving an old car. He tells Janie he wants to take her shopping for groceries to bring her to the Sunday school picnic. Janie has a hard time believing that Tea Cake really wants to be with her, but he reassures her he does. The love affair between Janie and Tea Cake begins in earnest here. Janie treads cautiously and is filled with doubt because of her past disappointments in love. Tea Cake, for his part, has to overcome his own feelings of insecurity to woo Janie. As they work through their doubts and fears, Janie embarks on the next leg of her journey to understanding herself. This chapter thus advances the interconnected themes of love and independence. Janie and Tea Cake are compatible because they actually enjoy one another's company. Janie believes that Tea Cake might be able to offer her the kind of love she's been looking for since she was a young woman. But if she lets Tea Cake into her life, she'll lose some of her independence. When Tea Cake combs Janie's hair, the intimate act relaxes Janie and draws her closer to Tea Cake. And it represents Tea Cake's unequivocal acceptance of who Janie really is. He seems to treasure her hair, a marked contrast to Joe Starks' insistence that she hide it in a head rag. Thank you.